What's the easiest car to nick? The easiest car in the world to nick. In fact, you can't get one insured in London now, a rear door, you won't insure it. Wow. And the policeman told me when they come out to my house, 120 cars a day, Mayfair, South Kensington, Knightsbridge, Chelsea, Shit. and Central London get stolen. And 75% of them are doors. What would be a good car investment around about 50 grand? Around about 50,000, a good car investment. Um, as far as classic goes, a Jaguar. Yeah. Hmm. A Jaguar. Porsches have exceeded that now. Yeah. I mean, most Porsches with a hole in the wing, the five holes in the bonnet, and the engine falling out is worth 50 grand. Right. Okay? Yeah. So you're not going to buy one of them. Yeah. Um, and then a Jaguar, you buy a good E-Type, uh, E-Type Coupe, or you buy even some of the saloon cars in good condition, one for that sort of price. Rolls Royce, believe it or not, is, is some 70s Rolls Royces would be a good buy. Right. And then 100 grand? 100,000 pounds, you'd get, um, you get some Porsches now, we're talking to Porsche level. Yeah. Porsche Henry, you get a few Ferraris. Yeah. 355, is that all right? You get a 328, 355, yeah. yeah. We've got a very nice 355 at the minute, I think, which is 120. Yeah. Mind you lot to stay. You've got a 348, have you here? Yeah, very nice, yeah. Yeah, they all right? That's not a good buy. Yeah. That's not that price range. Yeah. It's a good buy, 75,000. Right. Done 9,000 miles. Wow. Good buy it is actually. Yeah. I don't know why we haven't sold that car. Yeah. Yeah, it's I better not go and have a look at that. Yeah, I tell you what, <laughs> you mentioned it as a good buy. I think we'll be talking 12 months time from now, God spares us. And I'll say to you, I told you how good a buy that car was. Yeah. 120. Wow. Or 100. Yeah. You know, mm. I see it going that way. Yeah. As opposed to the 75 grand sitting in the bank. Yeah, yeah. Going down. 4%. Or getting yeah. 4%. And, and that's not keeping up with inflation. Yeah. So it's actually losing 6%. Yeah. What about quarter of a million? What's a good car investment about quarter of a million level? Ferrari. Yeah. Ferrari is very good. Ferrari is strong. Ferrari has been very clever in what they do. Um, you know, they, they watch how they manufacture. They watch how they, they, how they, um, how they control the, the stuff that they do. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, they're, they're very good at what they do. Yeah. And what about million? Million pound? Well, just a bit over a million, which is a good investment, is the McLaren P1s. Yeah. I think they're very good for that sort of price. What uh, can you get an F40 for? I'm trying to buy one now. Yeah. As we speak. Yeah, I really like those cars. Yeah, I'm trying to buy one done, uh, done 12,000 miles. Mm. What's the easiest car to nick? Well, I, I, I live in London 50% of my time. I live in Knightsbridge. In fact, I'm going there tonight. Um, I spend the first part of the week, mid, middle part of the week to the end, or sometimes the first part of the week. Anyway, 50-50 between here and, the, and London. And I was there with a friend um, two or three weeks ago, and my wife was driving. My wife had a new Range Rover, uh, driving a new Range Rover, and he had a new Range Rover. He had the old model Range Rover, tell that, excuse me. And they were parked, my house is right opposite the historical museum in, 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 in 800 yards from Knightsbridge. When I come up next morning at seven o'clock, I went to go to the REC club, which is where I go to for the spa. I'm a member of this great place. I don't know if you've ever been to the REC club, mm. a fabulous place, mm. fantastic. And when I went outside, I could only see one Range Rover. So I said to my friend, I said, you know, you come down here with a Range Rover. He said, there's only one Range Rover outside. And he got nicked. Right. In answer to your question, the easiest car in the world to nick. And in fact, you can't get one insured in London now. A Range Rover, they won't insure it. Wow. That's a fact. Mm. And the policeman told me when he came round to my house, he said, hey, Mr. Hartley, he said, um, he was a bit of a follower, by the way, he was a follower on social media. Yeah. As just mm. the, the Bobby, you come round. He said, I know you're in the car business. He said, but you know, 120 cars a day, Mayfair, South Kensington, Knightsbridge, Chelsea, Shit. and Central London get stolen. And watches get nicked there, don't they, a lot? And, and, and 75% of them are Range Rovers. Of the 120. Wow. Can you remember the first car you ever sold? Oh, oh sorry. That's all right. <laughs> okay, there you go on. <laughs> Power go on. car. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's, the, it's the, the honor sensor. Um, see, the, the, first, yeah, the, uh, the first car I ever sold, it was a Range Rover in 1971. It just came out with 1940 pounds when they came out. Wow, and, and that's I heard inflation. It, yeah, that's what it was when they came out. Yeah, and did you make all right on it? 
I paid two hundred fifty pounds. And what did you sell it for? Two hundred fifty pounds more, so yeah. two thousand one hundred pound. Wow! So back then, two thousand one hundred pound was the price of a new Range Rover, and it was put together by a friend of my father who I know wanted one, and a relative who I knew who wanted to sell one, who had one coming. Yeah. And I just put the deal together. Yeah. And then I got the flavour. And what cars at the moment do well for the residual, like hold their value well? Well, the most successful car in modern times today, um, which is quite in incredible because I didn't really like the car when it came out. And I, and I done a press piece with, I think, Auto Car Magazine, giving a bad opinion of, I don't think it'll be, it'll be that successful. So I first put my hands up and I get quotes wrong. And it was a Lamborghini Urus. It's been the most successful residual value car that I've ever remembered. Right. You know, you could have had a Lamborghini Urus five years ago done 30, 40,000 miles in it and get your money back. And is that because there's so few of them? Yeah. Everyone wants them. And everybody wanted them, yeah. yeah. And, and by the way, after I made that statement, it was just on launch, I hadn't driven one. So I was a bit premature in making that, that statement. And I drove one and, and I can understand why they're so popular because they are a great car. Mm. You don't actually need an Aventador if you've got a Lamborghini Urus. No. And what about the RSQ8? Because I've just bought it off you for my yeah. wife. I mean, that's surely a good value car. Fantastic car. Yeah. Fantastic car. I drove that car. Yeah. And it was just... Is it not like having a Eurus, but... but, it, but it, this is the next... But it, good point you're making, excuse me. It, it's, it, that, that car you've just purchased for your wife, I drove that car last week, and, and I said to Carl, it's exactly the same thing. And, and we agreed, it's just a Eurus with an Audi badge on it. Mm. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Fantastic fabulous car to drive. Yeah. Actually, I'm glad you mentioned that, because you wouldn't know the difference if you blindfolded somebody and said, what were you driving? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds great as well, mm. doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Great car. Mm. I hope you enjoy it. I hope your wife enjoys it. I'm sure she will, yeah. Mm. She's getting rid of the Range Rover. She's had enough of that. Yeah. Um, Range Rover's been quite successful over the last two years. Yeah. The new model has been very successful. Yeah. Do you think it's a bubble? Do you think the market... Because normally you buy new cars and they drop, don't they? Well, they do, but, you know, at the end of the day, when you work hard and, and you want what you want in life, um, as you get older, you find... I know it's important, but it's not that important. If that's what it is, that's what it is. Yeah. If you want to drive it, you've got to pay for it. Yeah. But of recent time, that hasn't been the case. No. The last two or three years, people have been buying cars and, and, and actually not losing any money at all. And do you think that's... On yeah, low yeah, that, supply? That, that, that won't last. It won't be, no. it won't be something that lasts. No, that'll definitely... And it's starting to disappear a little bit now. Yeah. Hey, quick, before you go, if you want to watch the full, raw, uncut version of this episode in detail, no holds barred, you can watch it here. But before you go, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on.